couple of years ago, I made a video called Dealing with Failure, the reason I started YouTube. I've never watched that video back, but for some reason, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what it is, is people, people are, uh, some people I guess are drawn to what I say, or at least are curious of, about listening to what I say. I'm just speaking from here, that's it. Um, yeah, it's, I'm in LA right now. It's been a bit of a lost week out here. Um, not the best trip I've ever had, but, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to try to get my thoughts out onto the camera like I did in that video from a few years ago. Yeah, I remember making that video. Um, that was at a time where none of this was working, and, uh, I remember the exact day it was, uh, that was back when I was doing therapy. It had come off the back of, uh, our first merch drop, um, <clears throat> which, uh, we didn't sell shit. We sold, we sold one shirt, I remember, and it was pretty embarrassing. It was like, uh, this was all I ever wanted, and just watching it kind of fail like that was a scary feeling. I was gonna try to do all this one take, but I'm gonna have to fucking cut it, guys. <laughs> Gotta keep it together here, hold on. Yeah, I was at a time where it felt like not, none of this was working. Like, <clears throat> I remember we were just uploading videos every week that I thought were really good, and they just weren't connecting for some reason. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was like concerned that it wasn't gonna work out and I kind of staked a lot on this. I was nervous that it wasn't gonna work out and I was gonna fail kind of in front of everyone. And I remember why I made the videos cause I felt like I didn't have anyone to talk to at that time. And um, you know, that's why I've always been drawn to making videos in the first place is cause <clears throat> growing up, I didn't, feel heard really I didn't feel like people heard me and um <sighs> and throughout my life it's it's always felt like when I try to say something people just want to want to argue with me or like tell me why I'm I shouldn't feel that way or why I'm not right about this or that and with the camera it allows you to just be as open and honest and creative and express whatever you want and it, it can't say anything back to you it just has to, it just listens you know so I feel like that's that's why I've loved making videos so much so I guess the reason I'm recording this is i just want to i just want to talk you know and it's like uh just feels like i'm a person that takes other people's time and their commitment and their word very seriously i show up on time to things if i tell someone i'm gonna be at something i show up i am in many ways the leader sometimes it can feel like the leader sort of makes sure everyone's kind of taken care of and everyone's good and then like nobody checks in on the leader i guess it's not to bitch or complain or anything it's just like sometimes it just like feels like people are not grateful and that kind of hurts a lot because i just remember i was grateful for anything on the way up anything any advice any like any sort of help and it just feels like i don't know I guess people just don't know how badly that stings for me when it, when people 
when I feel like people are ungrateful. Or like I said, how I, I'm a big believer in like respecting someone's time and if they set something, stick into it. It hurts me badly when people don't reciprocate that, I guess. And especially when it's like, it seems like it's just a joke to them. Like they just, they don't take it seriously at all. They don't take the fact that I'm actually like very, very upset about it seriously. Like it just doesn't matter because why would it matter if I'm upset? But there's a deeper issue kind of under the surface of this problem that I'm facing in this very moment because I deal with problems all the time, you know? When you run a business, it's always just like problem, solution, problem, solution, fixing problems. This person over here needs something. This video needs to be uploaded. Like that's not, I don't, I don't have any trouble dealing with that that's part of what i signed up for and i'm okay with that and i deal with it the way that you have to like i just handle it but when these types of problems will arrive where they're more like hitting here and it's more of like the problems where i don't feel seen by people i feel like people are disrespecting me or taking advantage of me I feel like people are gonna leave me is a big one. Fear of abandonment is huge. It's like, I feel like I don't wanna tell people how I really feel and how they made me feel a certain way because I don't want them to leave me. So a lot of times I keep the way I'm feeling bottled inside and I don't tell people and that allows them to kind of walk all over me. And when these problems ar arrive in my life, my mind goes to a place of, and this is just, I don't know why it goes here. I don't know why, but you know, thoughts of suicide uh, have been something that I've dealt with pretty much since I was, I'd say early high school, probably since I was 14, 15. And I'm not suicidal, I, I don't wanna, alarm anyone but I, I don't know why my mind goes to those places um because there was a time in my life where I was and uh and I never I never have talked about it really with anyone um and I know, I know a few times it has been brought up and it's like, you get, you get kind of, especially among men, I feel it's like, they just think you're, sometimes they'll think you're a pussy for bringing it up or they'll think like, you just want attention or, you know, you're being you're being selfish like that's a big one it's like you're you're so selfish for even thinking that and it's like that's not helpful in any way at all like that's not helpful and it's like i tr i don't want to think this and like it's not something that i control it just like it just happens in my head it pops into my head sometimes and i i don't know where it comes from and it's like uh and that and that's and that's a reason why I think me and a lot of men don't talk about it is because they don't want other people that they're talking about it with to think they're just seeking attention or they don't want to be called selfish. They don't want to be like feel like a pussy. And that's the way a lot of guys make other guys feel. I, f I think about when they talk about stuff like like suicide and it's a reason, you know, men kill themselves and it's a it's a big big issue and it's a big killer i remember having a thought one time and i'll never forget this thought i was this was back again when i first started youtube it was that was a very kind of hard period in my life where those first five or six months where nothing was working out and I had no money and and I was watching all these people around me doing what they were, the, they were supposed to do, getting the jobs they were supposed to get, 
and I felt that pressure from everyone and it was like I don't know that was that was a period that was really rough on me I felt very embarrassed to be me a lot of the time and I remember driving back to my apartment and a song called Mr. Blue by Catherine Feeney came on yeah that song came on and it was just like she said exactly how I was feeling like it was just like she said I know you're sore and sick and sad for some reason and I can see it in your face you've been waiting to break since you woke up this morning and it perfectly like was like how, how I was feeling because like I don't I don't I don't know why I feel this way and I don't I don't know what it is and it's so like I don't know how to express it and and yeah I remember I just, I had a thought come into my head of just like I haven't been happy since I was a kid like I haven't been happy since I can remember and I just broke down like just like the hardest I've ever cried it was like a different type of crying it was just like kind of like catharsis like just like everything came out from the past 10 years of my life just came out in that moment I had to pull into a parking lot so I didn't crash because I was like just crying so hard and just like I, I like literally curled up in a ball leaned my chair back and just curled up in the fetal position and just sobbed in the parking lot I don't know where that thought came from either I kind of I, it's because of course I've had moments of happiness throughout my life and along the YouTube journey, I've, I've had many moments of happiness. I feel like joy and happiness are two different things. And it was more of like, I haven't felt joy since I was young enough to not understand what not feeling joy was. And you know, I'm still trying to find it. And that's not to say, I, like, I'm not saying I'll never find it because I hope I will someday, but I don't know I'm just and it's also like I'm not at all trying to take for granted what I have because I feel like there's a difference between being grateful and being joyful like a lot of people think like because you are in in a good position and you have you're successful and stuff and you that you should you should automatically be joyful and happy and it's just like you can be very very grateful and still struggle with joyfulness and happiness. And I feel like that's where I'm at. Because I'm, I'm, of course I'm grateful for everything I have. And for all of you guys for changing my life. But the joy is something I still struggle to find. I know this channel is about having fun. And it's a comedy channel primarily. And it's about entertainment. And that's that's I feel like I do that best that's what I'm best at is entertaining but I do see a bigger mission that I want to work into this as well where it's like I want to kind of change the stigma a little bit about especially among men about talking about kind of their mental health because because I feel like everyone that struggles with it watching this is kind of learning along with me because I still struggle with it too. Like that's that's the reason I'm making a video right now because I, I don't feel like I really have anyone that I could just call up and talk about this with that I, like, that it, it, just, it would just be uncomfortable. It shouldn't be that way. It should be that you should be able to call up your friends and if they're true friends, they're going to listen to that and not immediately point the finger back at you or, you know, try to discredit it. It is a bad feeling when you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to and you feel kind of alone. And I, f I felt like that the vast majority of my life. I felt like that. And um, I've kept things bottled up for so many years. It's like for s I haven't shared anything with anyone. And there's a lot of me that still hasn't been shared and, you know, but I'm trying, I'm trying every day to, to become a person that I actually can love. That's the ultimate goal for me is like.
I just want to love myself, you know, and I want to, I want to be joyful. And I really want to get there someday. And I don't know how, but I'm not going to stop trying to figure it out. I feel like it's time for me to really try to fix kind of what, what has been going on up here for for the past, you know, nine or ten years and kind of try to find peace and happiness and, and joy and and try to love myself which um which is a new concept to me i i've i've never i've never done that and it's gonna take work i couldn't do it now i'm not a version of myself that that i would love you but i know i know i'll get there i just need i just need to work on it i need to find the right things to do in order to to get there you know i was never comfortable putting out the video i made two years ago in my car i've never watched that video and i'm not exactly comfortable putting out this video and i'm probably not going to watch it back either but what i have seen is the feedback and i have seen that people kind of connect with some of the things i say and i'm just saying exactly what's going on in my head and how i'm feeling right now you know people connect with that that's great it's awesome if you can help people obviously so yeah i've lost a lot of things in my life i've lost a lot of things because of myself you know i've self-destructed a lot of relationships and good things that i had be because i was just too not emotionally there to handle it i push things away because i'm scared they're gonna leave me first so I, i'd rather get rid of them before they get rid of me that's a big problem i have and these are all things that these are all things i need to fix before i can become someone that i love you know yeah it's interesting how the video i made two years ago to this video that last video was using your failures to become successful and it was all about achieving i think i even ended it with a quote i said something to the effect of your failures are what are ultimately going to make you a success. It's crazy how that manifested itself. In that time, um, I think we had like 2,000 subscribers and I was making no money. And it was, it was a very uh, unstable time and unsure time of if it was really going to work out or not. And we, I was putting everything into it. It's crazy how that manifested itself. And now here I am doing exactly what I wanted to be doing back then what i pictured i would be doing now traveling doing this for a living now i hope to look back at this you know in two years and see that this has manifested itself as well where i am now in a position where i love myself that's that's more of the goal for this one i guess i'll end it by saying that like if you ever have the th those thoughts those dark thoughts it's nothing to be ashamed about, you know what I mean? As, and for anyone that ever tries to put sort of make you feel bad for th for for having those thoughts or, or, or tries to make you feel like you're weak or or you're selfish, don't listen to those people. Those people are not helpful. I know that those thoughts can come to, even to strong people, they can come. You know, and it doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're a selfish person. It means that you're a human and you have human emotions. And never be afraid to reach out and to find an outlet. I think that's the most important thing is finding an outlet. And I think I might make this sort of a tradition every two years to kind of just sit down and update with what's happening and kind of where I want to go and where I'm at. I'll see y'all in another two years.